I'll help you to keep yourself on target and you will get results. It's such a charged subject, you know, that people tie it into spirituality, good, bad. And I, I think the first thing you have to do is you got to get yourself in the game. I mean, you got to understand the game is still winnable. I think for most people, like you said, it's so complex. And frankly, the financial industry makes it complex. When a person with experience, as we all know, matches a person with money, the person with experience ends up with your money. A lot of very financially astute people are not great investors. To be a great investor, you have to be able to make decisions without perfect knowledge. In your business, you have a lot of knowledge. You can make those decisions. You're in control, and not so much so on the investment side. If you are completely obsessed and totally focused, if you're taking massive action and getting better and better at executing, there's only one more thing you need to get whatever you want, and that's grace. Some call it luck, some call it grace. You might call it God. But there's no question in my life that grace is there. It's those things that show up that, to guide you when you've done the first two steps and your intent is something larger than just yourself. Uh, you know, my mom chased me out with a knife. I knew she wouldn't kill me or hurt me. And, and I'd gone from, I was 5'1 in high school and I'd grown to, I grew 10 inches in a year. So I became, at that point, I think it was like 6'3, 6'4. Um, and I just said, I'm not going back. But what came out is I slept on the mountaintop and then it rained. I slept in a person's laundry room. And then what I did was I started going and reading initially. I took a little bit of money I had, I worked as a janitor, still in high school, and I work in the middle of the night and take buses. And I would find the power of reading because I would think I had this horrible life and then I'd read these biographies of some of the smartest and most brilliant leaders in the world or an Oprah or anyone of that nature and you see their life was horrible. That's why they became who they became. And so it, it kind of changed for me. It just, I began to realize. And then I started listening to audios and you mentioned earlier, man named Mario, this Jewish man who owned this little, little corner spot where he sold cassette tapes of all the different speakers in the world. And I would save my money as a janitor making, you know, 150 bucks. And I'd pour 60% of that into buying these and I just fed my mind. So I'm a product of all this. And it's been 30, you know, 40, this will be my 40th year next month doing this with people from all over the world. And I've had the chance to work with in a hundred countries with a hundred million people. I'm really gonna work hard to stop smoking, but you know, I've been a smoker my whole life and I'm, you know, I am a smoker. I know your days are numbered. You're gonna be back smoking cigarettes again because we all act consistent with who we believe we are. I tell people the strongest force in the whole human personality is this need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. If you define yourself as somebody who is really conservative, you're not gonna be crazy and act nuts unless you're really drunk or something. And then you can say it's the alcohol when it's really just you finally getting permission to be yourself, the alcohol is your excuse. So the first step is not to wait till you have a huge sum of money, because the illusion is, when I have more money, then I'll invest, then it'll be worthwhile. The most important thing is get started with whatever you have, because if you do that, you get to tap into the power of compounding. We all know about, but very few people use. I'll give an example, a guy named Theodore Johnson. You probably never heard of him. Worked for UPS, never made more than $14,000 in an entire year of his life, and yet, when he retired, he had $70 million and he didn't inherit a dime. There are tools that can change your life. If someone has lost weight and kept it off for 10 years, 20 years, they're not lucky. They're doing something different than you. If someone has got this passionate relationship, they're not lucky. So I've spent literally 40 years of my life finding the very best, putting in a format that's playful and fun and easy, and then it's just one little audio a day. You don't look at all this, just say I'm gonna do one audio a day over basically 21 days, and you're doing it while you're driving in your car, you do it while you're working out, or you do it while you're cleaning your house, and you use net time, no extra time, to change your whole life. If you've made this whole business about meeting your needs, you can run a successful business, but it'll be a job, because you'll never be able to sell it. Because if it's just meeting your needs, it's not a system. It demands your attention, your connection. It's giving what you want, but ultimately it's not gonna give somebody else what they want so you can't sell it. If you can't sell your business, if you don't have an exit strategy, you have a job. People don't really get how powerful that is. You don't earn your way to a fortune. You invest your way, you compound it. Most people are trading time for money. And as an entrepreneur, that's the worst trade you can ever make. What I try to do is say, listen, whether you're an operator or owner, let's set up this business on the side, a financial business with no employees that will be an extraordinary economic nest egg that brings you income for life so you're free to do your business on your terms. But you've got to get started. You haven't changed your what? 
you're what? Physiology. If you don't change your physiology, you won't get anything. So an incantation is not only you speak it, but you embody what you're saying with all the intensity you can. And you do it with enough repetitions that it sticks in your head. Like it's a small world, now the conversation in your head is always the same and it gives you what you want. So use your body and your voice.